What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Tula and if you're new here, I am so glad that you clicked on this video. Today I have a Trader Joe's slash public goods haul for you guys. First, I am going to be trying out Trader Joe's unique slash healthy snacks. I have never tried any of these snacks before. So I'm hoping that I find some ones that I am going to be loving and just continuously going back to Trader Joe's for. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. As you guys can see, we have a big Trader Joe's bag here. So let's just do that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with this turkey jerky. I feel like this is such like a tongue twister like turkey jerky turkey jerky turkey jerky but anyways the way i like picked out these snacks i went online did some research for trader joe's healthiest snacks sort of say and these were the ones that popped up so let's go ahead and open this one up yeah i've had like regular jerky before but never turkey jerky they smell like Oh my god, you know what they smell like? They smell like a Lunchables turkey. Oddly enough, that's exactly what it smells like. All right. Oh, and they're really hard too. <laughs> my thoughts. Those are really hard to chew. I don't know if I just got like an end piece or something, but anyways... They are the original flavor. They have no added flavors. They are high protein, low fat. But yeah, I would probably give these a 6 out of 10. I know I always say that I really don't like rating, but I feel like for these snacks, it's kind of necessary. I probably wouldn't go back and get that again, but it's not too bad. So the next snack that I'm really excited for are these seaweed snacks. I have been looking for seaweed literally everywhere, so I'm happy that I found this. And the lady told me when I was checking out, she was like, we literally sell out of seaweed so often, it's nuts. So, anyways, this is the roasted seaweed snack with sea salt, and they are also gluten-free. So, let's open it up. I also feel really bad like opening all these snacks at once because usually when I go grocery shopping I like will try and finish one snack at a time but I guess we're gonna have to put these back into like a Ziploc bag or something but this is what they look like they are so green they're like dark dark green yep they definitely smell like seaweed um am I supposed to eat this like just by itself oh my god you guys look at that that actually looks sick. All right, cheers. <laughs> mm. Mhm. Mm yep. What's seaweed? All right. Well, I think that you have to have like a taste for this, like. I personally would not just like go and buy this as a snack and like snack on it. I don't think my taste buds are like as advanced as the seaweed wants them to be. So, I mean, if you like seaweed out there, props to you because I wish I liked seaweed. Like I wish I'd been into this and was like, yes, because seaweed is so good for you. So let's just take one more bite. <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm like literally just went into the ocean, fished out some seaweed and I'm putting it in my mouth. All right, next snack, organic carrots. So they're basically dehydrated carrots and I mean, they look really good. They're also gluten free. So let's open these up. Do these have a Ziploc thing? Yes, they do. Oh my God, that's amazing. This is what they're looking like. So, there we go. Oh. These literally smell like nothing. Like they have a little... They have like a little hint of something, but like... Okay, let's just try. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa. Oh my, what does, this doesn't, I'm like flustered. This doesn't taste like a carrot at all. That's so weird. You guys hear that crunch? That's crazy. This is not, this does not taste like a carrot at all. But <laughs> anyways, did I even rate the last one? The seaweed, probably like a two out of 10. Like I definitely will go back and get it again just because I know that it's really good for me. Is anybody else like that? Like if you know some type of food or like drink is really good for you and you don't like it, you'll still go back and buy it because that's, that's literally me. Like at this point, I'm like, hey, if it's good for me, I'll eat it. So anyways, these I will probably rate like a 7.5 out of 10. Also, these are a really good source of potassium, vitamin A, and fiber. So, you know, we love that. On to the next snack, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are trying these jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. I feel like I have seen these everywhere. They're also vegan and gluten free, which is really nice. So yeah, let's just go ahead and open these. Open these bad boys up. Okay, I definitely get the hint of jalapeno. This is what we're looking like. So, I mean, it looks nice. <laughs> it looks nice. So that's like a singular puff. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh my god. You guys. First of all, spicy. Second of all, <laughs> okay. The spice like kicks in after you've swallowed it. It like gets spicier. But the first bite, let me tell you, that is literally the best first bite of a snack I've had during this entire video. That was so good. Like, you guys have to try these. This is what they're called. You guys, let me tell you, these are really good. Mm-hmm. I'm literally gonna be addicted. Ten out of ten. I really like those, and I will for sure be going back and getting them. So definitely go try those if you haven't, and you're like a jalapeno fan because those are really good. So the next one and the last one before we get into the public goods haul is these. Is these? That was a really good grammar. Are these peanut date bars? So. I guess we'll just wait for that bus to pass by. This is what these are looking like. They're really cute, individually blah, individually wrapped. Um, I really like the packaging. So let's open this up. Okay. Oh, they really just smell like peanuts. Hmm. Oh, I like these. I don't even taste the dates. This literally tastes like a trail mix um, granola bar. It's blinked on the freaking word of granola. I was expecting to taste more of like a date, but I don't taste that at all. Literally tastes like trail mix to the T. And let's see what they have in it. Peanut butter. Oh, I do taste the peanut butter a lot now. Date paste, sea salt, flaxseed, roasted peanuts, and dry roasted peanuts. So, I mean, pretty clean ingredients. And they're gluten free so if you're sensitive to that this snack would probably really be ugh, this snack would probably be really good for you and yeah i mean they're really cute so anyways let's get on to the public goods haul slash review okay so before we get into the public goods haul i want to take a second to thank public goods for sending me these items to review for you guys 
Also, I want to let you guys know who Public Goods is and what they stand for. So, Public Goods is a sustainable online marketplace where you can buy anything from groceries to pet supplies to home goods and much more. Public Goods has a yearly membership that costs $59 and that adds up to about $5 a month, which is pretty good in my opinion for a one-stop marketplace. Also, every membership that is bought goes to supporting the causes and organizations of recycling and rebottling, carbon offset shipping, Feeding America, and the donations of public goods excess inventory. So if you were interested in trying out a membership, they do give you a free two week trial without any charge to kind of get a feel for public goods and their website and just market overall. I do have a 15% off discount code for you guys for your first purchases at public goods so I will go ahead and pop that up right here so you guys can see it and use it as you please and one last thing about public goods which I think is awesome is that in their grocery section they do have a ton of gluten-free and vegan friendly options for you to choose from so that is always a plus but yeah now that you guys know a little bit more about public goods and what they stand for let's just get right into this haul okay so we have our public goods box right here so let's go ahead and start opening it up Oh, that's so cute. It literally says, let's see if you can see this, because it's all good. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this pasta. So. This pasta is a gluten-free Fusilini organic red lentil pasta. I'm really excited to try this because lately I have been trying a ton of gluten-free and like rice-based pastas and this one is a red lentil based so this should be pretty good. I will definitely be trying the food items out that I got and reviewing it for you guys so don't worry about that. I also got this vegetarian chili bean meal dinner. And I mean, it sounds really good. So the next thing I got is this lip balm. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. It is a gluten-free lip balm. I'm not sure if every lip balm is gluten-free, but I've never heard of like a gluten-free lip balm. But anyways, the ingredients in it are coconut oil, shea butter, candelia wax, and it is certified organic. So, I mean, that sounds awesome. So we'll just have to see how that works out. Okay, I think this is like the item that I'm literally most excited about. Okay, first of all, look how cute the packaging is. So these are reusable bamboo straws. But yeah, let's just see what they look like. Oh my God, they sound really cool. Okay, so this is what they look like on, oh, they have the little public goods logo right there. There we go. That's so cute. I've never had bamboo straws before, but they sound so cool. I only have metal straws, but I'm excited to start using these because I've had those metal straws for so long now. <gasps> you guys, look at the freaking pipe cleaner or the straw cleaner. It's so fuzzy and it's huge. I don't know if you can tell on camera how big it is, but my metal one is definitely not this big. So that's exciting. All right, there we go. And I love how it comes in like the cute bag to just store them in. The next items that I got are like bathroom items, sort of, I guess if you want to categorize it, but I got the Public Goods Body Wash. And I'm really excited for this one just because I read the ingredients before putting it in my cart and I saw that they were vegan friendly, sulfate free, gluten free, natural fragrance and cruelty free and paraben free. So, I mean, all of those things are just so good to have in something that you're putting on your body and like your skin is basically absorbing into your body. So I always love to see that. And of course the cruelty free is a big plus for me, but let's go ahead and smell this. I'm like trying to think of what this smells like. Okay, I it smells like it's very citrusy, first of all. It kind of reminds me of like a tangerine or like an orange. 
yeah definitely like a tangerine maybe mixed with something else that i have no idea at this moment but i mean the packaging is so cute and this is a 12 ounce bottle i also just love their little like slogan of it's all good it's on everything or it seems to be on everything so that's awesome also i got this aloe vera gel just because again it is getting a lot hotter out and the sun is getting so much stronger so i feel like after like a good day out or like at the beach or at the pool or something this would be really nice just to like soothe your skin and again this company is all about like healthy ingredients clean ingredients all that stuff so in this one it is alcohol free vegan friendly paraben free and fragrance free so oh and the bottle is made from sugarcane that's pretty cool all right let's go ahead and smell this one hmm okay the weird thing about this is that it says it's alcohol free but it literally smells like straight rubbing alcohol for some reason i'm not too sure why but again i love the packaging i love how it's like very just like simple minimalistic but yeah we will have to see if this ends up smelling like rubbing alcohol when i put it on but all right anyways the next thing i love the packaging like i honestly have no idea what this is but like it's cute I feel like I'm unwrapping gifts on freaking Christmas. Okay, wait, that packaging was really cute. Also, I got this hand soap. So I like, you know, try to kind of go with like the little bathroom theme with all of these bottles, but all these bottles are seriously so cute. Like I wanna just like take photos with them. <laughs> Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. All right. Anyways, the hand soap again is all healthy ingredients and it is the exact same as the body wash but let's go ahead and smell this okay wait, ooh, oh gosh oh oh no all right this hand soap smells exactly like the body wash that like citrusy scent like tangerine orange something like that okay actually you know what i think it says what's in it it has orange geranium cinnamon mandarin nutmeg rosewood celery seed grapefruit and vetiver i don't even know what that is but that sounds amazing like cinnamon and nutmeg in your hand soap that's awesome okay i definitely see where i'm getting the scent from now because there are oranges and mandarins in there so that is definitely taking like full effect over the scent but the last thing i got so I already have these, but, well, at least I think I do. Okay, these are a lot bigger than the ones I already have, but I already have, like, these mesh reusable, like, produce bags. They call them grocery bags, so I kind of thought they were going to be, like, big. That's why I got them, but, I mean, these are definitely bigger than the ones I already own, so these are just really nice to take to the market with you when you're getting produce and stuff, so you don't have to use those, like, plastic bags that are just really bad for the environment and we all use them including myself whenever i forget mine like my mesh bags but yeah these are really nice to have i'm happy i have like extra now the little public goods logo is right there which is so cute and yeah it's just you know a little drawstring tie so it's very simple to use and honestly this is gonna fit like a ton of produce like i could fit so many apples in here and like oranges and stuff but yeah that is literally all i have so that is gonna be it for this trying healthy snacks from trader joe's slash public goods review video again thank you public goods for sending me these items to review for you guys i really appreciate it and i'm so excited to try everything literally i'm gonna try this lip balm in a second but yeah thank you guys for watching again if you guys liked anything that you saw from this haul or just want to check out public goods in general for yourselves i do have that 50 percent off discount code for you guys for your first purchase at public goods again it is right here for you guys to see but yeah thank you guys for watching it is always appreciated and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys